Hello and welcome to this nonverbal communication documentary on the subject of facial expressions. As humans, we are granted the gift of facial expression. We can display our inner emotions and thoughts without words or sounds. Our faces can tell so much about what we are thinking and how we are feeling. This form of nonverbal communication has always fascinated me, so I decided to learn more about the history, the context, the differences, and the importance facial expressions hold. The early studying of facial expressions and their correlation with emotions can trace as far back as the 1800s. Charles Darwin, famous for his discovery of the theory of evolution, also noticed an evolutionary pattern with expression. He believed that these expressions of emotions through facial gestures were universal, that each culture shared similar bases of expression. However, moving forwards a century and into the mid-1900s, psychologists testing Darwin's ideas believed his findings were inconclusive. These psychologists believed that each culture had its own set of specific facial expressions and emotions, completely exclusive to each individual group. Their reasoning was that each cultural group had its own language, therefore it would have its own set of facial expressions. Darwin's ideas resurfaced with help from psychologist Sylvan Tompkins. Tompkins suggested that human emotion was fuel for motivation and emotion was displayed in the face. Tompkins went on to conduct the first facial expression study in 1964. He then recruited the help of fellow psychologists Paul Ekman and Carol Izzard to conduct what are called universality studies. These studies showed emotion-provoking films to cross-cultural groups, including those from literate and preliterate cultures. Each group's facial expressions were examined during the films. They found that the exact same facial expressions of emotion were displayed in various cultural groups, thus confirming Darwin's theory. Since this study was conducted, there have been a countless number of studies focused on facial expression of emotion. After careful analysis and research, it has been determined that there are six shared universal expressions for the same emotions. These emotions are joy, surprise, sadness, anger, disgust, and fear. Other research has found that perhaps facial expressions of emotion are on a deeper, more biological level. A study conducted on blind individuals found that when emotions were provoked, these individuals produced the same facial expressions as those with sight. However, these individuals produced facial expressions similar to the way their family members did, not the way other members of society did. This could explain why infants are able to make facial expressions soon after birth and why chimpanzees are also capable of this skill. Facial expressions are common everyday phenomena and are taken for granted most of the time. You can tell what a person is thinking or feeling, or at least have a good idea, with a simple curling of the lips or the furrowing of the brow. In this section of the documentary, I'm going to elaborate on how the six main expressions could have came to be and how they are expressed. Smiling is a universal expression of happiness and joy. People typically smile when they experience some type of pleasure or positive occurrence. However, biologists believe that the smile was born not of happiness, but of fear. It is believed that millions of years ago, primates would bare their teeth to predators to indicate harmlessness. Think about when you smile to a stranger passing by. Why do you smile to that person? Did they do something to make you happy? Smiling in this context could be compared to a handshake or a nod of the head. It is a statement saying that you acknowledge the other person in their presence and mean them no harm or ill will.
People do not always share in the same expression when experiencing a surprise, and typically the expression will alter with the nature of the surprise. However, most reactions are caused from a rush of adrenaline, and the universal expression for surprise is an open mouth, wide eyes, and a sharp intake of air. This is a response to our fight or flight habit when adrenaline is introduced. Sadness could arguably be one of the most universal facial expressions other than smiling. Crying and a downturned mouth occur when one is sad. Why do we cry when we are sad? When humans become sad, a response occurs in the part of the brain called the cerebrum. This, in turn, causes the endocrine system, which is made up of glands that secrete hormones, to release hormones around the eyes. In turn, tears are formed. This physical reaction to the emotion of sadness is one of the most telltale signs of the emotion. Anger can hold a fleeting, passionate response when the person experiencing the emotion expresses it. It can be expressed in many different ways, but the most typical facial expression when someone is angry is a furrowing of the brow, the lips pressing together firmly or curling, and the eyes widening or narrowing. There does not seem to be any idea of how the origin of the frown or the expression of anger came into existence, but it is believed that a frown has always been indicative of the sign of negativity among cultures. When we are disgusted with something, humans we usually raise their upper lip crinkle the bridge of the nose, and squint the eyes or raise the cheeks, also known as a grimace. It is believed our faces behave in this way when disgusted because of the triggered gag reflex. Even if one does not feel nauseous, it is out of human habit for our face to contort in this way. There are many different causes of disgust and these vary from person to person. The final of the six main facial expressions shared by humans is the exhibition of fear. This emotion is typically expressed by the widening of the eyes. Widening of the eyes enhances our peripheral vision, thereby allowing us to see the threat more clearly. This can allow us to determine what is it that scared us, the level of the threat if there is one, and to see a way to escape or protect ourselves from the perceived threat. Although the causes of our emotions vary from person to person and culture to culture, our facial expressions are the key to expressing our inner thoughts and emotions. They act as a deciphering mechanism when we cannot convey particular thoughts into words. The studying of facial expressions and their connection to human emotion dates back to the Darwin era. Significant advancements in studying techniques since then have given us a better grasp as to what facial expressions mean and how they came to be. Perhaps in the future, we will gain an even more in-depth understanding into the nonverbal communicative skill of facial expression and find an even greater importance within them.